Hello, Jacqueline. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. How are you tonight, Jacqueline? I'm fine. That's good. How was your day today? No service. How was your day? Is is very worried. Oh, it was very worried, really? Mm, yes. Did you study? Uh, yes, yes. Ah, okay. For, Good. Uh, for my exam. Oh, you have a university exam? Yes. Ah, okay. Which subject? So, is Enfermedades Transmisibles. Ah, okay. Uh -huh. Very interesting. And what about the platform? Did you finish the section three and the midterm test? Yes, section three, finalizing in midterm. Okay. Está iniciando la, la sección cuatro. Oh, you have already started section number four. That's perfect. Thank you. Congratulations, Jacqueline. Hello, Henry. Hello, Rolando. Welcome to the class. Good evening, teacher. How do you feel tonight? I'm fine. Ah, okay, excellent. And what about you, Henry? How do you feel tonight? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the Hello. class. Uh, I am fine. Oh, you're fine too. That's excellent. You. Yes. Yes, teacher. How are you? I'm happy to hear that. I'm okay. I'm very well. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, okay. Henry and Rolando, have you already finished section number three and the meter test? Yes, I do. Yes, teacher. Okay, how was it? Was it difficult? Was it easy? A piece of cake? Uh, intermediate. <laughs> ah, okay. That's a little bit hard. Hello, Jacqueline. Hello, Henry. Can you please Sorry. repeat? Hello, Jacqueline. Uh, Hello. <laughs> Good evening. Hello, Jacqueline. Okay, where are your classmates? I was worried because in here where I live, it's raining a lot. What about there in the place you live? Is it raining? Is it rainy there? No, raining. No, it isn't really. In Antiguo Cuscatlán. <laughs> ah, okay, it isn't raining in Antiguo Cuscatlán. That's perfect. So tonight we're going to take a look of the midterm. How was it, the midterm? So here we go. Let's start with tonight's class, right? We're going to take a look of the midterm test. It is supposed that you have already taken this, right? Espero que ya todos sus compañeros lo hayan hecho. Y here we go. We are going to remember those exercises. So. It is the midterm exam. And it has one, two, three, four, five. It has five exercises. The first one is a listening. The second, in the second, you have to complete the conversation. And number C, you have to choose the correct answer and you have to rewrite the scrambled sentences. And in this part, let's see, what is it? In this part, you have to read. You have to read in the other part. So let me move this over here. And let's start with this. Do you remember the listening part? Yes, I remember. Yes, uh, vacation, Lisa and Peter. Ah, okay. It's about the vacation. Um, Lisa and Peter's vacation. It's about Lisa and Peter's vacation. Yes. So Lisa visited. Oh, let's listen again. Just for you to remember. Lisa and Peter are talking about vacations. Listen and check the correct answers. So Lisa, 
Where did you go for your vacation? I went to Australia. It was my first time there. Did you enjoy it? Well, yes and no. I wanted to go surfing, but the waves were really scary. It was often very windy. The weather was pretty cloudy and cool, and it rained for two whole days. That's terrible. So you didn't surf? No. But I visited lots of museums and saw some movies. But what about you, Peter? How did you spend your vacation? Well, I had a lot of fun. I went to Italy. Wow. What did you do there? I took a walking trip in the Alps. How was the weather? Both good and bad. The weather can change very quickly in the mountains. Some days were sunny and warm, perfect for walking, but other days were cold and wet. But I still loved the trip. Okay, Lisa visited Australia, Austria, Korea. Lisa, Australia. Australia. Okay, Australia, excellent. Then let's do the next question. How was the weather? How was the weather in Australia? Bad. Good, okay, or bad? Bad. bad. Terrible. <laughs> bad, okay, let's choose bad. Uh, Peter visited Indonesia, Italy. India, or Italy. 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 Italy, okay, let's choose Italy. How was the weather there? Good, okay, or bad? Okay. Okay. Oh. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah was... bien, bien, bad, pero se disfruta. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yes, very good. Yeah. 20 points of 20 points. Excellent. Your score is 10 at the moment. At the moment. Then in this part, instruction. Any volunteer to read the instruction here? Thank you, Rolando. Can you please read the instruction in English? A completely following conversation. You need to finish up the WH question words according to the response given. You can choose among long, good, often, well. Thank you. So you have to use the yes, long, good, often, well. Ah, ah, ok. Ahorita se está conectando el profesor. Quiet, 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 el teacher. Tome. No, 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 el teacher. Espera, me quiero buscarte como pareces. Como ido al video. I don't listen. I don't listen. Ok, te voy a leer como. Hello, buscar. hello, can you listen me now? I'm so sorry. Oh, sí. The power went <laughs> off here in the place I live. Right? And I didn't have internet connection. So yeah. right yeah, now I, I am with my cell phone. And I guess it could work. No, thank you for waiting. We were we were in the we were taking a look at the midterm test, right? And we were in the section number two, and Rolando was reading the instructions. So thank you so much, Rolando. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. So complete the following conversation. You need to finish up the W question word according to the response given. And you can use, you can choose among long, good, often, and when. Well. The first is often. Okay, how often? How often do you work out? Every how day I'm a real work? fitness freak. Okay, thank you. And the next one, number two. How well do you play tennis? And then we're going to choose the word well. How well do you play tennis? About average, but I'm getting better and better. What is the meaning of I'm getting better and better? Mucho mejor. Muy bien. Oh. Así más bajo. Estoy mejorando, ¿verdad? Más y más. The next one, how? How long? How long? This ah, okay. How long 
do you spend at the gym? Just three minutes a day. Who has the time? And the next? How good are How you at soccer? Are you at soccer? How good are you at soccer? Okay, I guess it's not really my favorite sport. And in the next exercise, any volunteer to read the instruction in this part? Do you start? Oh, thank you, Rolando. Uh, name instruction. Uh, instruction. Complete. Oh. Go ahead. Go ahead, Jacqueline. Thank okay. you, Rolando. Okay, instruction. Complete the conversation. Choose the correct pass form of the verb given in parentheses. Parentheses. Parenthesis. Okay. Do you, what is the right option? Stay or stay? Stay. 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 Stay or stayed? Stay. Stay. Because we have a, the auxiliary did. Okay. What did you do? Do. 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 Okay. Let's go to the next. And what is the right option? Go it or went? Went. I went, I went dancing at the new club. A hat or a habit? How? How? Oh, really? Yes, we have. I Where or been? The men copia. They know. But they know. But I am a group of the chat. Where or been? What is the right answer? Been. Where? Where, 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 where are you? Where, where are you? Where, where are you? Okay. Where, where are you? Where, where are you? Where, where are you? Okay. I was writing the impression, just been. So the next, I, where or I was? I was. I was. I was. I was. I was Actually, no, from. I met my friend there. I spent. We spent. I spent. We spent. We spent. Okay, let's see. Actually, no. Ah, okay. Twenty points. Twenty there. points. Let's go with the next. That was the second exercise. This is the third exercise. It has to be with a made of a description. So let me see. Wow, it's raining. Yes. It's raining so hard there. So, excuse me, is there a gas station near here? Yes, there is. There is around the corner. There's one. There's one around, one the, around the corner. Thank you so much. Thank you. How hotels are there in this neighborhood? How many? How many hotels are there in this neighborhood? There are a little much or a few. A few. A few. A few. A few. Okay. Is there much public is transportation? There much public transportation public. near here. Number five. No, there isn't. One in no, there none. There is any, none. Any. Any. Is la correcta? Yes. It's correct. No, there is any. Uh, okay. Very good job. Thank you. And let's go with this. You have to scramble these three sentences and to rewrite them correctly. Can you please dicta dictate to me the correct answer? I watch TV. I, I often watch TV after I often. dinner. I often watch TV after dinner. Okay, with period or without period? Uh, dinner. Dinner. I don't remember. Yeah. Ah. Sin el punto. Sin el punto. Yes. Yes. Ah, okay, the next one. Did you ever? Do you ever drink drink coffee in the evening? In the evening. Question mark. With question mark. Question yes. mark. Yes. Yes. And the last one. Yeah, that's it. Jeff doesn't. Jeff does. Yes. Yes. Exercise. Very Exercise. Much. Very, much. Very, very much. Okay. 
Si nos sacamos ahí, culpa de Rolando. Ah, ok. <risa> no, ok, thank you. Thank you so much. 20 points Estaba of 20 con los points. nervios de puta, ¿cómo es la cosa? Ah. Estaba nervioso. Ah. I was nervous. So, this is the reading. This is the reading part. It has, uh, let's see, eight. Eight questions about the reading part. Hello. Este, en anterior a mí la, la número uno me sale mala y la escribo igualita. Ah, de la uno. Yo creo que le falta el coffee. I often. I often watch, watch TV. I after dinner. Yes. Sin punto. TV. Without period. Y TV mayúscula. Posiblemente eso sea. O ha puesto doble espacio. También tiene que ah, hacer eso. Si hay un espacio uh -huh. de más, sale correcto, incorrecto. Ah, okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much. Let's go with the reading. Let me know, please, if you can answer this item. Read Ruth's letter, then check through sentence. We are going to read this first. This is, uh, uh, Any is... volunteer to read the first paragraph? Well. Can, you, can you say it? <laughs> Um, menos de su, menos un, más, más menos abrir, ahí, al, ahí, 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 ahí. Abrir el Okay. It's kind of difficult to read. Dear. No. Si Omara dice que quiere leer. Okay, si Omara, do you have a question or do you want to read? I want to read. Ah, okay, thank you. Let's listen to Xiomara in the first paragraph, please. Thank you, Xiomara. Dirt that uh, Baker is a great city. Uh, I really like in there. There's always a lot to do. Uh, every day after class, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends there for coffee. In the evening, there is always sometimes interesting to do in town or near the university. For example, I sometimes see a, a, a foreign movie or listen to live music. Oh, I sometimes see a foreign movie. A foreign. foreign. Una película foreign. extranjera or listen or, to live music. Thank you, Sumana. Thank you very much. Very good job. Do you have any question here uh, about the vocabulary? No. Rolando, questions? Rolando, do you have any questions? Uh, no question. Okay, I'm sorry, Oscar. I have to mute your microphone because I heard some interference there. It seems like it is raining there. Is it raining there, Oscar? A lot, teacher. Ah, okay. We can listen to that. That's why I mute your microphone. I'm really apologize for that. I'm sorry. Thank you, Oscar. Uh, then the second paragraph. Any volunteer? Do you have any question about the first paragraph? Oh, I have to volunteer here. So Jacqueline in the second one and Rolando in the third one. Okay, on Saturday, my friends and I usually take the bus to San Francisco for the day. I love the shops and restaurants. And it's a great city for judging or in like skating. I'm really getting good at it. In Golden Gate Park, we always go to, go to Chinatown, they have lunch, and then we welcome or shopping in the afternoon. Thank you so much. That was excellent. Thank you. Chinatown. 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 Interesante. Eh, let's see. Oh, Rolando. Teacher. Yes. Uh, what's the meaning of the jogging? Jogging. Eh, it, yes, it's a great for city real. for jogging. Es una grandiosa ciudad para ir a trotar, para salir a trotar, for jogging. 
Intense. Thank you so much. The last okay. paragraph, please. On Sunday, sometimes I like to play tennis with friends or with watch a sports event, like a football game or a basketball basketball game on TV. I think American football is ever exciting. Well, that's all, all for now. Take care. Hope to hear from you soon. I uh, hope to hear you from you soon. I love, love Ruth. Oh, Ruth, love Ruth, okay. Love Ruth, love con amor Ruth. Ruth. Okay, very good. Now the question. Let's go with the question. Then she walks down Telegraph Avenue every day after class, true or false? True. Jacqueline says true. And it says, I walk down Telegraph Avenue. I always like to go to my favorite coffee shop in the afternoon and meet my friends. Okay, let's see. She met her friends for a coffee in the evening. It's false. Why false? Porque no es no quiero ver. Dice evening y no es en evening. It's the night, creo. Oh, it's in the afternoon. Yes. Thank you. Number three, she sometimes dance to live music. She sometimes dance to lead music. I see. And True it's false. false. It's false. It's listen to okay. live music. It's listen. Thank you. She enjoys going to San Francisco on the weekend. It's true. It's true. She doesn't lie in line skating. It's false. false. What is in line skating? no, el roller skating es lo mismo, pero los patines en línea que conocemos. Ah, ya. Yeah. Es por el tipo de patines, ¿verdad? Roller skating, las rueditas van juntas. En inline skating van dos adelante y dos atrás, creo. Something like that, right? Oscar, are you making reference to that? No, no. <laughs> ok. Let's see. In line is Karen. Then you say false, right? Is it false? Let's look for a picture. What is in line is Karen? We can do that here. I practice line is Karen, teacher. Yeah, really? Yeah. Because I love. I love in that. line is Karen. Let's take a look at this. Let's see some picture. Okay. Are they in line? Uh, is it Oscar? Oscar? Yes, it is. Ah, okay. Okay, very good. So let's continue with the question. She goes shopping or walking after lunch on Saturday. True or false? It's true. true. Ah, that is true, thank you. And the last one, no, it's not the last one. It's number seven. She plays tennis with friends every Sunday. It's false. False. False? Why false? Because she went to her friends uh, to see a movie and uh, listen to music. Okay, excellent. She likes to watch football and basketball on TV. Uh -huh, yeah. It's true. That is true. Yes, okay. yes, it's true. Bueno, ahí vean si no me pasaron bien la copia en esto. Let's see. Okay, excellent. So you got 10. Tenemos 10. 
Okay, excellent. Do you have any question about the meter exam? Any comment about this exam? Okay, me pasé la copia. Ah, okay. <laughs> Was it easy? Was it <laughs> difficult? <laughs> ¿Cuál parte sintieron más fácil? ¿Cuál parte sintieron más difícil? Okay. What about the listening? Was it easy or difficult? It's easy. And the, uh, solo que hay una parte en la que ayer le preguntaban, en la que dice que Jeff doesn't exercise very much. Bien, me acuerdo. Porque ajá, también yo había confundido lo de very much. Que ah. es el de frecuencia. Ok. Eh, ¿Qué hay de la lectura? Was it easy or difficult? What about the reading? Is it's it easy. It's kind easy. Of easy. The difficult is the the part the the um. Ay, las las palabras que no que no que no se significado eso de estar buscándolo y luego leyendo otra vez eso es lo que. Ah, okay. Lo que complica un poquito. Pero la palabra eso... extranjero era nueva para mí. Ah, ah para mí también. Ok. Y también, y también esta de line, de line, line, line skating. Uh -huh. Ok, thank you so much. May I say something, teacher? Yes, Oscar, of course, tell us. Ok, algo bien importante cuando uno está leyendo es cuando las palabras que no conozcamos no nos detengamos ahí porque nos enchivolan en toda la en toda la lectura. Solo tratemos de subrayarlas y después las buscamos porque si no nos enchivolamos porque a mí me ha pasado muchas veces. Yes, thank you, Oscar. That is a good strategy, right? And also um, you can look at the context of those words. Puede utilizar el contexto, ¿verdad? De la oración para tratar de identificar what is the meaning of that uh, what is the meaning of that word eh, porque si nos vamos deteniendo y vamos al diccionario en cada palabra que no conocemos nos vamos a estancar y vamos a tirar el libro por allá ya no vamos a querer leer ¿verdad? porque vamos a sentir que no avanzamos But so you can underline and you can try to guess what is the meaning of the word by looking for the context by reading twice the sentence and you are going to find what is the meaning. So let's start with the topic for tonight. We are still having a review of the mean term, but today we're going to have a speaking class. You are going to speak with your classmate a lot. So I'm going to give you the instruction right now. So mean term exam review. Welcome to the class number eight. In this session, students are going to use the grammatical structure and the vocabulary learned in the first three sections to share their ideas with their classmates in a small conversation. That is the lesson objective for tonight. So you are going to share your ideas with your classmates. So let's start with the first one. You are going to work in groups of three people and you are going to ask questions. How often do you or do you ever? Do you remember this question? How often do you? Can you tell me an example? Can you tell me an example in this part? How often do you? How often do you read a book? Okay, thank you, Alexandra. How often do you read a book? So we are going to use frequency adverb or time expression to answer the question. Oscar, for example, how often do you read a book? How often do you read a book? Book, sorry. I usually read a book uh, one week, once a week. Okay, so you can say, I usually read a book. Ahí ya tiene una oración, or you can say, I read a book once a week. Okay, you can say the first one or the second option. Any other example, how often do you? Visit a doctor. Visit a doctor. Can you please repeat, Jacqueline? I'm sorry. How, how often do you visit a doctor? Ah, okay. How often do you visit your doctor? How often do you visit your doctor? Or you can say, do you ever visit a doctor? ¿Alguna vez va al médico? 
do you ever visit the doctor? Mm -hmm. Dean. I hardly ever. Ah, then visit you say, I hardly ever visit a doctor. I never visit a doctor. Ok, eso va a ser con sus compañeros. Prepare por lo menos cinco preguntas, cinco actividades que usted quiere saber con qué frecuencia lo hacen sus compañeros. So, prepare five questions and you are going to ask to your classmate. You are going to have like six minutes to complete this exercise. So, how often do you, how often do you watch a movie? And then your classmate is going to answer, I watch a movie every day. How often do you listen to music? And you say, I listen to music eh, three times a day, tres veces al día. Oh, do you ever listen to music? ¿Alguna vez escuchas música? Yes, I always listen to music. Yes, I sometimes listen to music. Is it clear? It's clear, teacher. Come okay. Down. Okay, are you ready? I'm ready. Ready. Ready? Are you ready? You are going to share with your classmates. And then we are going to come back and I gave you the instruction for the second conversation. It's about how long. How long do you spend listening to music, using your cell phone, watching TV? But let's focus on this activity first. Here we go. Share with your classmates. Va a preguntarle a sus compañeros con qué frecuencia o si alguna vez hacen alguna actividad. At least five, at least five questions. Is it okay? Yes? Okay, here we go. We are 14. Uh, let's work in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas, ¿de acuerdo? You have five minutes. Here we go. Hello, Lorena, do you have a problem to enter to the breakup room? Lorena, hello, Lorena. Lorena, can you listen me? Hello, Lorena, can I help you?
también underline and, uh, y la de los bebés que intercambian bebés pero no, no sé eso es en español no sé cómo se llama okay. Yo, I don't know. Uh, how often do you eat pizza in the weekend? Repeat. I, okay. How often do you eat pizza in the weekend? Is uh, it's not usually. It's usually. I usually, I yes. usually, I usually, I usually uh -huh. eat pizza uh -huh. on the weekend. Any other question? Did you finish? Terminado? Do you ever eat sushi in your life? I don't eat sushi. No, like. Okay. I never eat sushi. I, I never, never eat sushi. Okay. For me, it is delicious. <laughs> Ah, okay. How often do you eat sushi? How often do you eat sushi, Stephanie? Because in my house, um, how do you say solo a mí? Just to me? Yeah, to me, like, I eat one or two twice in the month because I go in with my friends. No, with my family. And my family, my family don't like the sushi. And a little bit uh, Chinese food. Okay. Very good. So, how often do you eat hamburgers? I like or not like? I like hamburger. I eat hamburg hamburger uh, once a week or is still rotate, rotativo. How do you say rotativo? Interchanging. Inter interchange in the one week hamburger, another week pizza or chicken or, or seafood, another. Okay, that's excellent. Any other question, Jacqueline? No more questions. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> How often do you go into the party in the night? Mm, once a week is Saturday. Saturday night. Okay, once a week on Saturday night. On Saturday night. Where? On Saturday. Any other question? For me in this moment, no, but I don't know Jackie. Is on the uh, screen. Mm, I don't. Yeah, no <laughs> okay, thank you. See you in a minute. Hello, Juan. Hello, Rosa Elba. Did you finish your practice? Terminaron su práctica? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yes, okay. How was your practice? Was it good? Was it bad? Did you practice a lot with your classmates? Yes, a little bit. Just a little bit. Hello, Rolando. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Kenny. Hello. 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 ¿Cómo les fue? ¿Cómo les fue con su compañero? Was it good? Was it excellent? It's very Excellent. good. It was very good. Okay, let's get prepared for the next. You are going to practice again. 
not with the same classmate. Well, I don't know, right? It's randomly choose the birds here. In the next speaking activity, we are going to talk about the next thing. How long? How long do you spend? Look at this. How long do you spend watching movies? How long do you spend listening to music? How long do you spend using your cell phone? How long do you spend watching TV? How long do you spend working? How long do you spend relaxing? How long do you spend resting? How long do you spend reading a book? How long do you spend studying? How long do you spend cooking? And how long do you spend talking with your family? Take note of some of these questions. You are going to ask five, five questions to your classmates. I have a chance here. What's mean of resting? Or oh, resting is descansando. Cuánto tiempo descansa? How long do you spend resting during the day? Cuánto tiempo descansa en el día? Se toma esos minutos para relajarse, eh, descansar. Thank you, Rolando, for your answer. So, are you ready? Están listos? You are going to discuss this with your classmate. How long? Otra vez van a trabajar con sus compañeros y esta vez van a um, dar sus respuestas acerca de estas preguntas. How long do you spend? Recuerde que tiene que responder utilizando tiempo, ¿verdad? How long do you spend? ¿Cuánto tiempo gasta escuchando música during a day? ¿Ya hicieron la cuenta? How long do you spend listening to music? I always listen to music. Okay, very good. So I always listen to music. How many hours? ¿Cuántas horas al día? I think that so 12 hours. 12 day. hours listening to music. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's great. What about working? How long do you spend working? How long do you spend reading a book in a day? ¿Cuánto tiempo gasta leyendo un libro en un día? Mm, I think two hours. two hours, two hours. Studying? How long do you spend studying? It's studying for four hours. Four six, hours. Six um, or eight uh, hours. Okay. Hours. How long do you spend talking with your family? Almost always in the <laughs> afternoon. Or lunch. Okay. Then you say 30 minutes, three hours, eh, four hours. One hour. One hour. It's one hour. hour. It's a lunch. It's a lunch. Okay. So are you ready to discuss this question with your classmate? Están listos para discutir estas preguntas con sus compañeros? Yes? Okay. Yes. Here we go. Espero que no les toque el anterior para que vayan cambiando de compañero, para que vayan practicando con personas diferentes. Okay. Do your best. See you in five minutes. Los veo en cinco minutos. Okay. Let's see. Vamos a volver a crear dos grupos. Here we go.
Ruben, do you have a problem to enter to the breakout rooms? Es que está bien mal el, el Inter, profe, porque me está lloviendo bien fuerte. O sea, ahorita me acaba de, de conectar nuevamente. Ah, ok, I understand. But we can practice here, right? If you can go to the breakout room, we can practice here. Just okay. give me a second. Okay, now they are go. Okay, they are practicing. Do you expect listening to music, Henry? Uh, I study and 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 weekend and weekend and uh, free free day. ¿Cómo no se dice para de, cuando descanso? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Okay, can you please, yes. Suleyma, I don't know. please repeat the question? Okay, uh, how long do you listen to music? Okay, how long do you spend listening to music? Eh, acá tiene que responder con tiempo, pero usted dice 30 minutes, one hour, three hours. Yeah. Hour. Yeah. No sé si me escuchan. Sí, que en realidad yes. estamos. Yes. Yes. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, sí, eh, se dice I hour. Eh, Listen music. to music. Listen to music. Ok, eh, very good. To study. <laughs> ok, thank you, Henry. Ok. Jancy, eh, how long do you spend eh, cooking? I, I, I ever, never cook because uh, my mother, my mother cooks every day. Okay, excellent. Thanks for your answer, Jancy. Next question, please. Uh, okay. Uh, if you like me. Suleyma, perdón. How long do you spend eh, relax? Relaxing. Uh, repeat, please. Okay, okay. okay. Eh, how long, how long do you spend relaxing? Um, okay, I. Um, usually relaxing. Okay, uh, just get me a second. Um, okay. okay, I'm going to help you with this. I'm going to explain something. So, the question how long do you spend? We are going to answer using time. For example, how long do you spend relaxing? That was the question. Right? That was the question. Right? Esa fue la pregunta. Entonces respondemos. Um, con tiempo, you say three hours. So I. Or you say three hours. Yes, three hours. Okay. Me relajo tres horas. Uh, you say, how long do you spend uh, watching TV? Es cuánto tiempo pasa viendo la televisión. Entonces usted okay. responde eh, four hours. Four hour, uh, hours. Four How hours. long do you spend talking with your family? En el día, ¿cuánto tiempo pasa hablando con su familia? Two you say, hours. Ok, four you say hours. four hours. Four hours. 
How long do you spend um, cleaning the house? ¿Cuánto tiempo gasta en limpiar la casa? Um, five, hours. Hours. Oh, yeah. five hours. Five hours. Mm -hmm. Five hours. Five hours. Y así okay. vamos. Y One así hour. Vamos. Y así vamos respondiendo utilizando tiempos, ¿verdad? ¿De acuerdo? De acuerdo. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Okay. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, Yancy. Yes. Okay. Hello, did you finish? Yes. 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 Okay. Can I have some examples of your question, please? Yes. Um I can you how how long do you spend listening to music? Yeah. I listen music uh, one hour a mm -hmm. day. In a day, okay, thank you. What about you, Xiomara? How long do you spend? Uh, I listen to music every day. All day. The whole All day. All day. Okay. 24 use, hours a day, seven days out during the week. I, 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 I think uh, it's the same to your cell phone for uh, 20 hours. I, okay. So I listen to music for 20 hours. <laughs> okay. And then 24, how 24. 24. It's hours. all day. It's all day. The whole day. Okay. How long do you spend clean, cleaning your house? How long do you spend, spend cleaning your house? Yeah. Um, one. One hour? Yes, one hour. One the bell. Or the bell. One or two hours. <laughs> okay. Si no he la limpieza en toda la semana, me tardo más. <laughs> in, in, my, okay. in my case, one hour. One hour. Only. Okay. Okay, cool. See you in a minute with the rest of your classmates. You did a great job. Thank you. Hello, Rowan. Do you have a still problem with your internet connection? Yes, okay. I'm sorry to hear that, Rowan. But it is rainy in a lot of places here in, El in our country. Here where I live, it is raining a lot. So I have to be connected with my the internet on my cell phone. So we are going to wait for your classmates. They are almost to finish. Hello, Kenny. Hello, Simara. Welcome again to the class. How was your practice? I saw interesting that teacher. It's very class. funny. It's very funny, interesting. Ah, okay. <laughs> Hello, Ruben. How was your practice? Did you enjoy it? Ruben, Rolando, did you, did you enjoy your practice? Excellent. Eh, excellent. ¿Cómo se, se bien aprovechado, Oscar? El oh. tiempo. Oh, bien aprovechado I... el tiempo. I took advantage of the practice. I took the practice. Excellent. I took advantage of the practice. I took advantage of the practice. Okay. I still have one more topic. 
un último tema para concluir eh, la sección 1, sección 2 y sección 3. I'm going to explain you. It's going to take you like five minutes to. Let no, no me show. Nos media hora, que se, no te ve media hora, ticha, que se le fue la conexión. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, you are right. No, 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 no. I'm just kidding. I'm sleeping, I'm sleeping. I'm sleeping. Todo ah, ya sabe okay. que estoy durmiendo. Dinner. I dinner. <laughs> okay. I sleep. No, I sleep. Hagan pancake en la noche para que no les tengan que cocinar mucho. Yo, yo cocinaba pancake <laughs> para mi compañera de las de clase en medianoche. Ah, ok, very good. So, we are going Entonces to finish with this activity. <laughs> Rolando, we are going to finish with this activity. Choose one of these three topics. You have to choose one, and you are going to share with your classmates. We are going to work again in groups, and you have to share with your classmates. The first topic is, tell your classmate about your last birthday celebration. ¿Cómo estuvo esa fiesta? That is the first topic. The second one, tell your partners about your Wednesday's activities. Tiene que... Eh, decirle a sus compañeros cuáles fueron sus actividades el día miércoles. Tell your friends about your last vacation. Tiene que darle información a sus compañeros acerca de su última vacación. Ok. So, which one are you going to choose? Tell your classmate about your last birthday celebration. Tell your partners about your Wednesday activities. Tell your friends about your last vacation. Rolando, which one are you going to choose? Okay. Uh, tell me, Jacqueline. Tell your classmate about your last birthday celebration. My birthday last year was a like, was a big surprise because it's it was one direction theme. It's is very exciting. Cuando lo vi. Ok. Cool. Sí, eh, ok. One Direction Team. So I guess that One Direction is your favorite band. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and single artist is Harry Styles. Ah, ok. Very good. So Oscar. Which topic do you want to talk about? Teacher, my connection is on the same, but for the reason I can hear you so clear. Okay, I understand. I understand that. So just two people more, two people more. Who wants to try? Kenny? Ya escogió su tema? <laughs> you can do it, Kenny! Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> um... <laughs> the last vacation teacher okay okay tell your friends about your last vacation yeah in my case uh, i visit the mountain in my uh, um how do you say um Semana Santa. Eh, Easter week. No. Holiday. No. Can you spell, teacher? E -E uh, holiday. A S E E R. Okay, Easter. Easter. Yes. I visit the, the mountain in Easter week. <laughs> Okay, thank you. What did you do there? ¿Qué hizo ahí? Uh, I um, listen to music, I dancing, I drink the coca. Okay, drank, <laughs> drank soda. I drank, I drank. Mm, uh, Probably this one. Oh, I walk 
Ah, uh, igual que. I sleep. Ah, ok. As usual. Sobre yeah. todo eso. Sobre todo es I sleep. I like sleep, but no. I, but no. Can? Can't? Cannot. Oh, I can. I couldn't sleep. Bueno, ok. Um, ¿Qué les parece si lo dejamos para la próxima clase? Usted escoja un tema, lo prepara, and we are going to discuss this with your partners. Ok, teacher. Okay. Okay. Gracias, teacher. Um, I'm going to share with you the presentation, and on the presentation, you are going to find the following example. Look at this. My last birthday was the most memorable birthday till date. It was January 31st, 2022, when I was going to be 32 years old. That was a very special day as it was my real day. I woke up early at 6.30 a.m. because my family sang a special song for me. And they gave me some gift. Also, I was cooked by all of them. Okay, it's like this one. And my last vacation, here is this example. And This is an example for uh, yesterday activities. So we are going to talk about this on Monday. Is it okay? It's okay. 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 We are going to stop the okay. class here. I really appreciate your help during these classes in section one, section two, and section three, and also in the meter. Thanks a lot for your help and your participation. So keep working hard until the moment. Thank you so much. Thank Enjoy you. your weekend. Rest a lot. And see you on Monday. Bye-bye. See, see you. Bye. See you. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Good night. See you on Monday. Good night. Si Omara, do you have an equation? Can I help you with something? Hello, Xiomara. Do you have an equation? No question. And see you on Monday. Bye-bye, Xiomara. -bye,